Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have another continuation on the saga of the game I was talking about as of yesterday, where we're actually seeing a lot of really big Sony issues going on. We're actually now seeing a brand new glitch, where basically people are getting emails saying that they somehow beat the game, won the game, etc. We even have even more big review bombs, where basically people are just basically saying this is absolutely unacceptable, and a lot of people still to this day are getting very, very upset. And myself, rightfully included, if you guys saw my video of just a few days, ago in regards to this ongoing PlayStation 5 game issue. And I will say it again, even if I only have your attention for another few more seconds before we do our random real like early start of the video spiel, I, if I bought a $70 game, I do not want to go and buy and have to pay microtransactions to play the game I already spent $70 on. Could we say it for me? Could I say it louder for the people in the back? Could I say it for the people who can't even go in here? Because what on earth is going on? I am so upset with Sony still, and I think a lot of people out there still are rightfully so also upset. So we have a lot of things to go talk about. We have a lot of things to go bring on up. And as well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream down below. Twitter giveaway down below. We got the Weeble and Coinbase down below and I appreciate you guys all so much for clicking on this video in the first place let's go and dive on into the actual video itself so guys first and foremost if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we actually made a video as of these past few days with Gran Turismo. And it kind of started off really bad. So Gran Turismo actually was offline for like 40 hours. So literally because this game has like one of those really, and I hate these so much nowadays, has one of the very, very annoying you have to be online to play the game to progress the game, to get your progress, to do races. Now, there's a few off-offline things, too, don't get me wrong, but the very, very large majority of the game is more so based around the fact that you have to be online to, like, prevent hackers, prevent other stuff, like, make sure progress is being tracked, whatever it is, there's a reason for it. And probably more so is more based on the micro church acts inside. So if you guys saw our video before, we were kind of talking about the fact that Sony essentially did a hot patch, and they were trying to go and kind of cover it on up, and so there's other issues, like people can load the game or access the game or whatever it is. But the one big thing with it is that a lot of people, myself included, are just assuming it's because there was glitches out there that people were able to go and find and farm and somewhat glitch out the in-game currency for Gran Turismo 7. Now, once again, that's still like a skeptical side slash like there's no like 100% proof on it, but it just corresponds with the time, corresponds with the fact that they also raised the microtransaction prices after the game was officially out, which also, once again, is not a good sign. So you have like the game, Emergency Maintenance, saying they couldn't, like, people couldn't launch the game. I My game launched fine. I'm sure there may be, maybe someone did have issues out there. But the second that there was, like, a big bug that made it so they can make less money, that's when they had to go and uh, conveniently go and take down the servers. Now, like I said, I might be wrong, but I'm going to stand by that. It just seems a little bit on the on suspicious side. It's not confirmed, but very suspicious. So the part two of that still is now ever since that happened, and my video itself too as well, that, like, we talk about it, a lot of people are rightfully so upset, myself included. Oh, I'm a big Sony fanboy. My entire channel is literally dedicated towards helping people buy their consoles. I'm literally doing free marketing for like Amazon, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, literally Sony themselves. And obviously Microsoft too. We talked about GPUs and Nintendo as well. But like I am doing the easiest marketing ever. My entire channel, like it's not intentional. Like I'm not being paid for this. I just like doing these videos and talk about it. I'm essentially a marketing channel for PlayStation. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sony. Have they, do they care? No. But <laughs> when it comes to that stuff, it kind of stinks because if I'm talking about a game or saying like the initial reviews are good, and my first uh, first impression with Grand Tours was nice, then some people do buy that game off my recommendation. Now, I'm not the biggest reviewer. I'm not like, you know, the most like, you know, best opinion or whatever it is, but I'm sure people are like, oh yeah, it came out. Let me go buy it. Or some people are like, okay, the game doesn't look that bad. First impressions, no big, big major drama. I didn't see any Reddit threads or tweet threads about it, whatever. And then now people go buy it, and now they're just reviewing it even more and more and more worse because it is unacceptable. When I got the game itself, I spent $70 on my PlayStation 5 version for Gran Turismo. And a lot of other folks out there are in the same boat. If you guys look at some of the Metacritics over here, you guys can go and see. Like, the Metascore, 87. Pretty good. User rating with 3,000 ratings. Although, once again, always take the user ratings with a grain of salt. It's currently sitting at a 2.9. Or this thread even goes and says that it has a worse Metacritic score by people, which is honestly what probably matters more than just random reviewers most of the time, who actually played the game than Jack 4 even did. <laughs> a 2.9 out of 10. That is so absolutely low. 
that's to me, that's a failure. That's like, that's like I have to see you after class teacher-wise because it's just a, such a low score. That's abysmal. Like, that's that, that's a little bit closer to a 1 than is to even a 5 for a reference bet. And even, I would say a 5 in a video game is not good. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really want to buy a game if it's a 5. And this is all because they've just handled this poorly. People on the PS4 and PS5 are having issues playing the game offline, especially when they had, like, a two-day uh, issue. And rightfully so. Like, I even, I was upset yesterday. I'm still upset by this because I just feel like it's such a, just a lame thing that we have to go and spend even more money to unlock content content in our video game that we already spent $70 on. Like, I don't, I don't know how these people ever, like, uh, uh, sleep at night. Like, I don't get it. Because for this, I'm spending $70. I want if people in my, like, my, in my community, my YouTuber, whatever, I want you guys to get a good value. I want you guys to get a good console. I want you guys to get, like, you know, something you guys will enjoy. And if you have to spend an extra $30 on top of spending $70, where's the enjoyment there? The only people that are enjoying stuff are probably Sony because they're lining up their pockets. And I'm usually pretty pro Sony. I'm sure you guys know. But I'm not always 100% like on their, on, you know, whatever they're doing because sometimes they do stuff and you have to call them out for it. And the fact that they literally did this hot patch, increased all the prices, trying to go get even more microtransactions, it upsets me. And obviously, as you guys can see over here, it upsets other people. Now, I don't want people to like, know review bombing and like stuff like that, like, you know, uh, for no reason. But at the end of the day, it does stink. Like, like no one wants to be a part of this. Like, microtransactions, the gaming community think NFTs, think, like, microtransactions, really bad DLCs, paywalls. It's kind of a not good thing because we don't want people to keep on making more and more and more money. Same with loot boxes, which is essentially what's in Gran Turismo. And it makes me sad because this is how people get hooked on the gambling. This is how people lose a lot of money. And this is also where people just don't get to go and enjoy a full game that they should have because they literally spent $70 on the game itself. And now, let alone all this stuff, too. Like, it's, it's basically like me saying the same stuff that happened before, but it's just gotten worse. And rightfully so, because they haven't backstepped it, and all their initial comments still were kind of on the lower side. We did go cover some of these before, as you guys can see some of these. Or like, you guys can see here, a patch this week reduced the payout of popular farming spots by as much as half, potentially pushing players towards conventional microtransactions. That is wrong. You should not be allowed to do that. I mean, you can, I mean, in theory you can, I guess, but like, it's just lame. So Grand Turismo allows you to pay real money for denominations of credits. We can use to purchase characters too as well. It's lame. And also they have plans to rebalance the game's economy as well as add additional events and content, which is nice, but it obviously it can't actually outline the entire roadmap right now because they don't even have a plan for it. The only thing I've seen them is like, well, you know, the farming that gets you the cars that you want to go play in a car game, which is duh. All those were let's just rebalance it. But even for future plans, we will in time let you know about the update plans for additional content, additional race events, and additional features that will be constructively resolved this. But they're not out yet. So what do you want me to do? So basically just go and nerf how people can actually go and buy and play and get the game. And that's it? Like, that's so disappointing. Like, that's really, it really makes me sad. And it pains me that I can't explain in details regarding this at the moment. But you can. I even said this yesterday. You literally can. We plan on continuing to revise Gran Turismo 7. Why was it not just like all, like just keep it normal so people could literally play the game and get some cars, man? Like it's not that hard. Like I said this all yesterday. And this is why like the reviews are so bad. Because people get upset. Like at some point, like people keep on getting pushed and pushed and pushed when it comes to these games and trying to make money. And it's not good. Like this is a really bad look on the franchise. This is a really bad look in general. And we even had this one issue too as well that's been popping up as of recently where people are literally going and having emails now in regards to Gran Turismo. Where people are like, hey, oh my God, congrats on finding your car. Hey, oh my God, congrats on winning. Hey, welcome to Gran Turismo. And people don't even literally own the game. <laughs> it's like the email says I played the game for five hours. No playtime or trophies are visible on my account. Yeah, this has happened to me too. Yes, yeah, I mean too. Yeah, I've had a few people receiving similar messages. Folks never played the game. Yep, same too. I apparently got platinum at 1.5 hours. Yeah, same in 33 minutes. Yeah, I got the email too as well. Yeah, I got three emails. And literally all these people don't even own the game. So it's just like a backlog of just always just something more. This will be another issue. Adding more microtransactions. Removing content from the game. The online issues. And I just don't understand how a game can be going downhill so fast and so poorly. And it's just disappointing. And like I said, I'm not the biggest, biggest, you know, like outcryer out here. But if you guys are spending $70 on a game... I want you guys to be getting a game you guys actually like and enjoy. Because what's the point of spending $70 just to go and spend another $70? 
It's lame. But anyway, I just want to give you guys an update. A lot more people are getting upset by this. I think rightfully so. I kind of hope that Sony and Gran Turismo can do something with it. Either give it, I just, I don't know. Just do something. You can make it easier to go farm stuff. Get people some freebies and fix up your stuff. Give a roadmap. Do anything. Because right now, I think a lot of people are upset. And that's not a good look. So, that's my thoughts. That's my opinion. Make sure you guys are subscribed. With the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We got the Weeble Coinbase down below. Twitter giveaway down below, and I appreciate you guys so much for watching, spend time with me in the first place, and I'll see you guys later on throughout today for a bunch more videos. Love you guys.